Good afternoon, my loves, and happy Tuesday. I am excited. I just had a bit of an inspirational or an ins divine insight to jump on and do a video about this. There's a light in here. I think I'm going to move outside. Um, yeah, I literally just had like a download to, as I was sweeping, <laughs> to do a video about this. So I'm just going to jump on and do one really quickly. Um, and I think I'm going to call this something like how to deal with the, um, the dilemma, I guess, or the weirdness around being more spiritually awake, aware, conscious, advanced than people who are older than you. And I just want to preface that like this is not coming from a place of like ego or wanting to be superior or thinking that I'm superior. I know that I'm not superior in any way to absolutely anyone on this planet. It's more just a matter of like explaining something that I wish was explained to me or not wish that I was explained to me, but like something that I have learned that I really, really I think will um, hopefully help you guys articulate something that you might already feel but you don't know how to put a voice to it. And it's this idea that like <laughs> you have this awareness that is so much greater and bigger than people in your life who are like a million times older than you. So like your parents, your grandparents, your um, teachers at school, your like friends, parents, like <laughs> it's, it can literally be anyone. So I, uh, <laughs> this, I, I've noticed this since I was really, like I was five and I know I started noticing this. Like I started noticing that there were um, insights that I had about the world and like my ideas about the world that were so like far advanced. Like I would come out with things and say things that my parents would look at me and go like, what, like, where did you come from? Um, and I'm not saying that all my ideas were like this. It definitely wasn't like that. But a lot of what I thought and saw in the world was very, very different. Um, and in a lot of ways, yeah, more advanced than what the people around me saw and thought about. Like I just thought about things really differently, thought about things that no one else did, saw things in a way that no one else saw them. Um, when I was in my early 20s, I started coaching women who were in their 60s. And it's not because <laughs> I just, I like, I want to add that I, it's really part of the reason that we have this like insight is because of the experiences that we've had in past lives. So I have been on this planet like so many times before you guys. And from what I know, like from the visions that I've had, whether you believe in past lives or not, the visions that I've had from like my past lives or the visions that I've had about what I've been and what I've done in lives before this, I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I was just like the most clueless soul. Like I've been through so much shit <laughs> to be able to have the wisdom and the knowledge that I have now. Like the visions that I've had are of me just like consistently messing up. Like, ex like I've learned through experience, right? Like I've just been here and been through it again and again and again and again. And I've made mistake after mistake and I've finally like cottoned on to if you, you guys have probably experienced this in your life where you've just made a mistake so many times and you're like oh like now I get it but it took me doing the same thing like 20,000 times could literally be 20,000 I don't know but in order to actually like understand the lesson or to like choose a different path that's what it feels like sometimes when I think when I like from the experiences I've had, that's the impression that I get is that I've just been here so many times that I'm like finally getting the hang of it. Um, and that's not to downplay anything that I have experienced because it's all like, yeah, it's all like divine and perfect. But from what I know, it's just like wisdom that we have gained through like lifetimes, millennia, however many years it is. I don't know how to even quantify that, but of experiences and of lessons and of making mistakes and then learning from them. Um, yeah, wild. And it's funnily enough, like it's also, I don't know if this is like maybe the macro and the micro, or maybe this is how I, I don't know, it connects somehow probably. Um, but a lot of what I learn in this lifetime is through trial and error. And I feel like maybe that's like a, a soul thing that stayed with me for a long time. Or maybe like I've had experiences of past lives. Okay. Anyway. We'll come back to that at another time. I don't, I feel like I was maybe just going off on a bit of a like saboteur tangent there, but bottom line, you guys, 
it feels weird. Like it just feels weird when you're like 20 years old and you're having these revelations about the, you know, the future of consciousness or like, you know, why people do the things that they do and, you know, other people around you, you've got your parents, for example, like making the same mistake, like 20 billion times in a row. And it's so obvious to you, like, hang on a second. Why don't you just like, you know, if you loved yourself, then you wouldn't make that mistake. Or if you just forgave that person, like then you wouldn't be suffering in the way that you're suffering. But you have to understand, and this is like a massive lesson for me and all of us, is that we can't actually like speed up their process, their learning process by doing anything other than being who we are. So there's nothing that we can really, like we can, we can absolutely like speak the truth to them and speak the truth of what we see and know. And it's actually imperative for us that, well, for me, that I do that. Um, but I'm not out to change my family or my parents or my sister or anyone in my extended family. Cause like, why? Like they're on their journey and it's perfect. And that's not my place. Like my, I'm here to have my journey. Like I'm ha here to have my experience and where our experiences overlap. Awesome. Like we can, you know, share things. We can teach each other things. Like I think it's, it's been really humbling for me to learn, like just because I have been here so many times and have so much like insight and awareness and all these sort of things, I still also have so much to learn and I can learn something from absolutely everyone. Like they don't have to be someone who's like really advanced in the spiritual community or someone that is like really wealthy or really successful, quote unquote, in the world's, by the world's definition. Like I just, I have so much, you can learn something from, I can learn something from absolutely anyone. Even if it's just like, okay, that person's reflecting back to me a part of myself that I've yet to love and accept. Thank you. Thank you so much for showing me that so that I could bring it home. Um, yeah, there's like so much in this and I just wanted to articulate how weird it sometimes feels um, because it does and no one really gets it. And it's, it's, well, for me, like I, I definitely went through a period of feeling really misunderstood because I would say things and like, <laughs> and, you know, be accused of being a know-it-all or like I'd say things and get like reprimanded or get like weird looks and, or I'd feel like really just, I'd feel really like, um, obnoxious or like I'd feel like I was being a know-it-all because I had this insight and it's like I was asking myself the question who am I to have this knowledge and insight like surely that person who has had like x amount of years more life experience than me is more you know well equipped to either guide me in this decision in this path like, for example, that's why we tend to give our power away to teachers because it feels really audacious to be like, actually, no, I'm only, you know, 16, 17, 13, I'm only 10 and I know what's right for me in this situation. Um, but I feel like there's so much more now that I've, I believe it, I see it. There is so much more like people are so much more aware of the wisdom inherent in youth and you and you like, and me, we are so much more respectful about each other's natural wisdom and of our own natural wisdom first and foremost. So I feel like this is, um, yeah, this is an issue that like won't be an issue in the future. We'll just like inherently and fundamentally acknowledge the wisdom in our children and in ourselves and in each other. Yeah. Cool. Um, so if you're experiencing it, I don't know, comment below, say something, just let me know. Um, yeah, it can feel weird to just, to kind of have like a, yeah, it's just a weird, it's a weird feeling, but it's also beautiful because it just teaches you so much like humility. And if you can approach it with just grace and just being open to learning and rather than getting caught up in like a, this is so unfair and why do I feel like this? And no one's listening to me like that kind of rhetoric, just coming back to actually I'm okay. I accept that I have this incredible wisdom. I accept what I know. I accept who I am. I accept that I, you know, I love this wisdom that I, that I have and I'm going to implement it in my life. And that's really all that matters. Like I'm going to share it with a world where I feel called to share it with the world. But the bottom line is that like, yeah, it's, it might feel weird, but it's, you know, it's true. It's what's true about you. You really do have so much wisdom and insight that everyone around you can benefit from. Um, for me, it's just like finding the balance between actually that's like having platforms like this is so helpful, like has been so helpful for me because people that are ready to hear it and to hear this guidance and who want to learn are here and they show up and they can receive this information. 
um, and pay and I get paid for it, which is awesome. Um, it's more like, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. Um, I don't get caught up in the resentment cycle around it anymore. It's just like, okay, cool. This is the wisdom and information hard won, mind you, and hard learned that I have now. And I'm going to use it to create a, like an absolutely, I'm using it to create an incredible life for myself. And that's what I want ultimately. Cool. All right. I love you guys. Um, yeah, we, we could do a whole nother video on that, like knowing when to share and when to just implement it. But I don't know, I'm still like discerning that and learning how to discern that. So yeah, always be open to learning and always just know that who you are is perfect and just favorite affirmation. One of my favorites, I accept myself and love myself for all that I am. Beautiful. All right. I, this is really fun. Um, I hope you're having a beautiful fun nails, fun nails. I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are. And, um, yeah, I'm so excited to see you, to connect with you. If you're in my community, um, if you're in like this community, put a comment below and just say hello. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. I love you guys. Happy Tuesday.